Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I still look crazy, but I thought I would film my second part of the um, Timu haul. So as we talked about, it is a little controversial depending on how you feel about sites like Timu, Shein, Wish. And I normally stray and I've been talking a lot lately about trying to be a little bit more conscious about my spending. But as a teacher, this is a very fun part two. As a teacher, it is really fun to kind of give your kiddos some different incentives or just little things. I don't always do tangible things. I really do like as a class, we work together and we earn five minutes extra of recess. I think that's better. Um, but we do this dojo point system that's for turning in things with your name on it, just little things, completing your class job every week. And so it's kind of economy in the way where it's they're doing things specifically and individually. So I wanted to give them a chance at the end of the year to kind of do like a store. So I went to Timu because I did want to make sure it was kind of affordable. So this is going to be my part two of the things I bought for my classroom, different things. I'm not going to use it all this year. I'm definitely kind of thinking in the future as well. So I'm just going to share everything I picked up with you guys. And then you can, you know, tell me what you think about Timu in the comments. I don't, I'm not sold either way. I haven't tried these things for quality. I do want to come back up with a few things for my first part just to talk about if they were as viral as they seem to be when I picked them out. But let's just jump into what I got for my classroom or to use in my classroom. So I bought a lot of games for my kiddos for Christmas. And to be honest, they destroyed the board, like the boxes for sorry and guess who right away. So I wanted to pick these up and I got a pack on Amazon for like $30 and these were like $4. So um, I just thought these would be so great to kind of get rid of the boxes, keep the directions, but all the pieces can go in here. They're just like a little mesh zipper bag, but they stack really nicely. And this pack is like full of, I want to say 10 different bags. These are made just as nice as the ones I got on Amazon. And like I said, 30 versus like five dollars quite a difference um so I'm pretty happy with that and I've noticed tell me if you guys have that a lot of the things on Amazon seem to be bought from like sites like Shein or Timu and then they're being resold is that happening or am I crazy um also I do make a lot of games I, I teach math mainly for third grade so I love a good math game to kind of build on the skills that we're working on so these just come, and I buy a lot of these at the Dollar Tree as well, but this was a pack of 10 for like two bucks. So again, if you get one or two from the dollar store, it was still cheaper for Timu. Um, and I really hope I'm saying that right, but these are great to just hold all the things that you need for a math game. I usually make them on the computer, but like if I need a couple dry erase markers or a die, they can all fit in here and I can make enough games so that everyone can work in groups of two or three. And um, so I love these and I will, I'll have hundreds of these over my time. This was kind of fun. Like I said, I'm kind of going rapid fire because I don't know that anyone really cares for this part too, but this was the fun stuff because I love buying stuff for my kids. But this I thought would be a fun thing to do as well. Um, so this year I made a balloon game for our last 10 days together. So they're going to pop a balloon each day and we're going to do the activity inside the balloon. But I thought for the future, anytime we're coming up on like a break, these are like the lottery scratch stuff. So I thought I could make up some cards, stick one of these on here and kind of pick like a mystery student for the day and then they get to scratch a card so this was super cheap it was like a dollar and there's 50 pieces in here so I don't know I just thought this would be really fun kind of silly but for the price they it's not that big of a deal but I just thought we could do something with this towards like a break or something like that one I just gonna hold on to it because I feel like I've kind of planned out what I'm gonna do with my kiddos this year but still saw it had to have it so I just thought it was really fun um so things that I'm going to stick in the store, um, I'm going to do some of these keychains. Uh, these are like the Poppet keychains, super popular still. I kind of thought they would lose their like flavor, but kids still love these. So I'm just going to stick these in there for like, you know, one or two dojo dollars so they can buy them. Again, packs on Timu were like 30 packs for, or 30 in a pack for like $3. So for a teacher, that's really affordable because again, um, they're really good quality. Like anything I've seen from like Walmart or Dollar Tree or anything that I've bought poppets for them before 
but this way I could essentially let everyone buy their own. So I wanted to have enough to like, it wasn't just two in a pack like I get at the Dollar Tree. So like two kids are going to fight. So that was pretty awesome. Along with that, I found these bracelets. Now this is, a, I think a 10 pack for like, it was two or three dollars, but this is an actual full pop it bracelet. So I thought that would be really fun. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple packs of those because I think they're going to be pretty popular. Um, also my kids still love stuff like this slap bracelets. This has all kinds of different, here, I'll actually take these out, different patterns. Like this is something from like my childhood, but again, I was really going for, um, things that I were affordable, but this little slap bracelet, like I said, they can, you know, buy one for five points or something. And you know, they're not getting just candy. Cause like that can get really, I don't know, hard too. like my kids love candy, but they, I don't want to give them too much candy. So I wanted to find a mix of things. So these slap bracelets were like 25 for, I know I didn't pay anything more than three or $4 for anything in here. So I thought that was a really good price. Um, I got a ton of water bottle stickers. So, oh, a couple more things. Sorry. Before I go to the stickers, I did get three packs of those top bracelets. So again, if not, I'll have them for next year. These pop tubes are super popular and you get two pop tubes for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So when I saw this whole pack, I think I should have probably got more, but I just want to start small and like add, you know, five or ten dollars for the stuff each month to the store. What I think I'll do is let them shop like once a quarter, but this is just going to be at the end of the year. But anyways, like I said, this was like two or three dollars. So I know I gave my sp myself a spending limit of twenty dollars. I have to sometimes because I love buying stuff for them. Um, this was just another, these are those like stretchy unicorns. So there's like six in here, a couple dollars, but just kind of fun stuff. I, I know I'm taking way too much time on this. Um, so this is just some cactus little uh, magnets. I have two magnet boards in my room. So um, one on the front wall, one on the back. So I just like to stick a lot of things up to remind kiddos. So I always need magnets. So I thought those were cute. And I think these were literally a dollar. So there's a little cactus and cacti or whatever. There are like six of them in there. Um, these I thought were super cool and I saw this on TikTok. My kids like lose their pencils within five minutes of getting a pencil. So we have gone through so many pencils. Like I put in policies, like if you're a teacher out there, like tell me what you all do because I'm willing to try anything. But I've seen these and so what I'm going to do is like glue these down or use some of that really good tape at the beginning of the year. And like, like this is like a really flexible silicone hand. So you can stick your pencil in here and it will hold it on the desk. So I'm hoping that we don't lose as many pencils. That's my hope. I don't know. This was the cheapest way to try it. I had had these kind of in my Amazon wish list for a while, but I was like, this was two or three bucks for these. So I grabbed enough to have a few extra just in case I break one or something. Um, I love having correction tape because I write in different colored pens and things are always changing. So I buy my own because this isn't a supply that's provided, but this was a really good deal, like six of them. I've not tried the, I haven't tried it to see if it like works as well as like the Bic kind, but I just like the colors too, but like two bucks for this. So pretty good deal. Now some things you're just not going to know till you get it. Now I thought this was going to be mini, but I didn't realize it was going to be this mini. These are erasers. My kids love these, but like these are so small. Can you guys see that? I mean, like they're cute, but like they're really small. So, um, this was like a 50 for a dollar and I thought, oh my gosh, no way. But then this is the 50. They're really tiny. But I still think my kids are going to love these. And I just have kids that love all different things. So I didn't want to just get like one type of thing. I don't know. That's, that was my thought process there. So I don't really need that. But this is probably my funnest item I'm sticking in my store. Um, these are gibbets for their Crocs. And I just got a whole, they're so cheap. There was like 78 cents. Now for some of these, I can kind of see why, because some of them are crazy, but like, this is like cute little Disney princesses. Um, and they don't like all look like perfect. Like I said, you kind of just have to know what you're, you're going to get what you pay for. But you know, there's Ariel. These are super cute. Like I couldn't, oh no, that's not Ariel. That was because of the right here. This is like a Tinkerbell friend. So the girls have something and then I got some superhero. My kids love Crocs. I got these superhero gibbets for their Crocs. So they're going to buy these. I'm going to price these up a little bit higher with their dojo dollars. But um, I just loved these. I thought they were so cute. And then I got just a random pack too um, of 
you know, I probably have to go through these. That's the one thing like some of these I like, they're not really appropriate for third graders. Like I'm committed to myself. Well, all right. But, um, a lot of these are super cute and totally will work like a boba tea, um, you know, different things like that. Like, I don't know who this guy is, but he doesn't seem too harmful. He seems harmless, but, um, so many cute ones. So I just thought, you know what, we're going to have some kind of random stuff in there. And like I said, they probably won't use them all, but superheroes, Disney princesses, and then random gibbets for their Crocs. Um, then I have, oh, I have some more of those. Oh, more gibbets. Let's see. These are, ooh, these are super cute. These are like Disney, see, this is me, you guys, like little Disney ears for their little Crocs. Like I said, some of my girls just, they wear them every day. So I wanted to kind of represent, you know, like get them all a little something. So like I said, even if I make these like 10 dojo dollars, they can each buy one because they all have plenty of points. I got more of those little pencil grips. Like I said, I just, I really wanted to get some stuff that I thought was cool. I love pens so much. These are a gel-based pen. I thought these were pretty. I don't even know how they write. I could get back to you, but I will always buy pens when they're on sale. It's something that I do. Pens are like my love language. I love lanyards and mine is like falling apart because I've only used the one this year. So I just grabbed this one for like a dollar. It's a pencil and I can stick my key on here. So super cute. I love buying them though. Um, just us teachers who buy random stuff like teacher bags and lanyards. This is like a lifesaver. I have one. I just wanted to back up. I don't, you take down so many staples when you staple things up, take it down. So this just like pulls them out. So I grabbed this and I'm very happy to have it. It's very much better than those little like grabber ones. This, I don't know if I'm going to use. I just grabbed it because it was really cheap, but I like having something that like I have a doorbell that I play in the morning and that tells them kind of like, You've got a minute to like push stuff away and let's get going. But I thought like getting a chime would be cute, but this is kind of like new to me. I don't know that, I don't know if I'm a chime person, but this was like a couple dollars. So I thought, well, maybe this would be better than the doorbell or like switch it up, but I don't know. Like I literally sometimes just black out and hit click to cart. So I guess I'm gonna try that. This is so me though. Like I really need a fan for after recess. We come in and I'm sweating. I've got 30 seconds so I start teaching science and I'm just like, it takes me five minutes to cool down. So I was like, I'm gonna literally have this. It comes with like a charger. I'm gonna plug it into my Chromebook and like just have this to use for after. Cause like I hate sweating. And what I hate worse than sweating is the continual sweat that is my forties. So. I was just happy to have this. Again, it was just a little fashion fan. There were so many different kinds, but this one seemed like good for what I want it for is just like right after recess to like stop sweating. I bought a bunch of containers like these, like these at the container store or Michael's can be a couple dollars a piece. And this was like 60 cents. And in this one I have sketch markers because I don't let anyone play with these. These are like my anchor chart markers. They can play with all the rest of them. But I just wanted to show you, I just got a bunch of these like 70 cent containers and they're really good quality. Another thing that I am going to get out in the store are these little mini slime kits. These are all scented and they come with the stuff to scrunch inside. Like I said, I've got kids that have like hundreds of points. So I had to get a couple of really good things. That was like probably the most expensive thing at like seven or $8, but I thought it was worth it because it's such a popular thing. So then I have water bottle kids. I have Chromebook kids. So I grabbed just a ton of stickers. Each of these packs of stickers was like 80 cents to a dollar. And they come with all kinds of cute things. Like I'm not gonna go through all of these, but just they will love these like to put on their Chromebooks or their water bottles. So I'm gonna have like a chart with just like all these different stickers that they can purchase. So then I got like these cute rainbows that say like radiate love. And I have some really sporty girls. So I got some softball ones. And again, whole packs of the stickers for like a dollar. Unicorns are those cute. And then these are Squishmallow ones. These were like two bucks, but you got two packages. So tons of stickers and these are really good quality. Like most of the teachers give those out for gifts and things. Now, these are super cute and I just thought about buying these for a couple of reasons. So they're really, they're kind of heavy and nice, but I thought about using these as bathroom passes, but I actually think I'm just gonna use these as like announcing like a student star student or something. They're little animal balloons. And I've just been kind of like obsessed with them. I got a pair of earrings. I'll show you guys later. Um, I don't know why, like it's just like a cute new little decoration. So I got a pink one and a teal one. And um, you know, I'm just gonna set them on my desk and. 
We're, we'll see what we do with them. I always, I find a purpose for everything because I don't want anything to just be waste, but I thought that was super cute. So those are for the classroom. And then I got these. I always just like to have different bins. Like when we're doing different things, I like to say like in the pink bin are the materials for, you know, number one on the board. So these are cute. They're not huge, but like it'll still work for like an activity. I also thought about kind of separating things for the store into these. This was like two bucks. So I got a pink one. I got a yellow which is super cute and a gray. So that was it for the classroom. Um, like I said, I don't know how I feel about Timu yet. Um, oh, I have one more thing. I see it right here. I fell on the floor. Let me grab it. I don't know how I feel about Timu yet. Like this was a first purchase. I just was a lot. Um, I bought for me, I bought for the classroom, but, um, I just wondered how you guys feel. Like it seems to be fun stuff on there. Um, I obviously have heard that like they steal photos from other places and things like that, but I feel like Shein and Wish were doing the same thing and I don't really have a problem with that, but I can see why some would. The last thing I got was this. I thought it was going to be a wallet I'd use for the summer. I love just cute things like this, but I'm actually going to take it in for that money for the store because it's just kind of like a plasticky material. Not a loss, just not, I don't want to carry this around like as my wallet. I'll grab something from a store. My wallet like zippers just fell off at the same time and the button so I've had that thing for like a decade so I was going to use this but I'm going to use this in the classroom so we'll count this as the classroom thing but it's really good for money because like I said and that's another thing I'm going to give the kids like ones fives and tens I'm going to have them do like their own little paying system so this will be a good little end of the year math activity but this was like a dollar or two dollars um, I'm not really good at prices, but again, if you go to Timu, I don't have a code or anything. I'm a literally just a shopper like y'all shop and lover, but go on there. Um, I can tell you that Kayla Michelle had a nice 30% code. Um, there are a few other people that if you just type like Timu haul, they probably have one. I just didn't look to do that. I just wanted to share with you guys what I got, but, um, that is part one and two. So there'll probably be another one this summer at some point. But yeah, let me know if you've tried it, how you feel about it. If there's anything I should be aware of that I'm not, I would love to know that from you all. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this classroom haul. It's probably a little bit boring, but I did want to show you because I get excited about this kind of stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in some videos very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.